Okay, John and Lisa, in tonight's Down Home, we meet an artist from Chunky. He gathers his art supplies with a shovel. I've done one or two I know about now. 72-year-old Doyle Blaylock of Chunky, Mississippi, can make art from the strangest stuff. You give him a bit of wire and some cups of sand, and he'll make you a picture. Mr. Blaylock has been making sand bottles for years and taking his handiwork on the road to craft shows all across the country. I just, I just, I get a joy out of doing the thing. The main thing that we've enjoyed about doing this is sitting all day at the mall talking with different people. There are professional kits available for making sand bottles, but Mr. Blaylock would not hear of that. He and his wife scour eastern Mississippi. They dig up their own sand, and they dry it, and they sift it. And the natural colors are as wonderful as any store-bought dirt. Where do the different colors come from? I've never seen sand like this. Where do you get green, do you get green sand and yellow sand? I, it's iron oxide is what makes you colorless. It's different degrees of oxidation of the iron oxide that's in the soil. Mm -hmm. You know, you, had you ever thought about what makes clay red? You've seen red clay just never thought about it. But iron oxide is what that is. After about 20 minutes, it's done. Art in a bottle, created with some colored sand and a piece of coat hanger stuck in a piece of a mop handle. One admirer said that Doyle Blaylock is one of the few people in the world who can go into a garbage dump and a pile of dirt and come up with something beautiful. Mr. Blaylock considers that the ultimate compliment. I'm John Smith. This is Down Home.